So it's your boy Downsizing. I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. I have an update on Flacco from a convict's perspective's uh, recent court hearing status conference retrial date. <clears throat> In the case of State of Arizona versus William Hunter Vick. It states, defendant not present in custody, refused transport. Mr. Wilson moves to continue the hearing set this date to allow this matter to track with the defendant's other cases, there being no objection. It is ordered that a status conference, RE, change of plea and trial date is set on August 16, 2024 at 9 a.m. in Division 28. So, <clears throat> As I've stated before, it's in Flacco's best interest to try to consolidate those separate indictments so that he can get whatever, whatever the max they're going to give him on one sentence. And I'm not saying the maximum they can give him, but the, what, what sentence is greater than the other, they can run them concurrent instead of consecutive sentences, which in our state they can run consecutive based on the fact that they're two separate indictments. They can do that in any state. It's two separate indictments, so they can, so those sentences can run consecutive. And it's in his best interest to plea them into one so that he can plead guilty, go to prison, and get it over with. The fact of the matter is that, that Flock was done. He, he could not change his life, could not change his lifestyle, given the opportunity that the United States government gave him in his deal to testify and to become an informant as he did on the on the NF, you know, it shows, like I said in the other video about <clears throat> the comparison between him and Henry Hill from the Goodfellas, who, you know, if you check, Henry Hill had been in and out of, out of jail and prison several times. He had a problem with alcohol abuse and drug abuse as well. And so he could never really truly leave that life in spite of what opportunities the government gave him. Um, so, like I said, it's in his best interest to get it out of the way and, and, and just go through. He's not looking, he shouldn't be looking at a whole lot of time. You know, based on what he said before, what he was looking at in that plea deal, which he could have got that out of the way. Now, I want to stop and remind everybody that had Flacco taken a deal on that last case and just went into prison, he would be getting out right now. He wasn't looking at so much time that he wouldn't be out right now. He would be out right now. But instead, he's not. You know, instead he's looking at more time and consecutive time and everything else. You know, my hope is that Flacco gets his mind right and he gets it together. You know what I mean? Otherwise, this is all he has to look forward to. The vicious cycle repeating itself in his life until he's gone. You know, it's a tragedy, but it's on him to get it together. It's on him to, to, to make a determination for himself that he wants to do what's best for him instead of continuing down that same path. You know, I get it. a lot of people that's been in and out of prisons as much as he has in jails and everything and in the life and lifestyle. We don't know any better. So it's difficult to live an honest, accountable, responsible life as a, as a man when all you know is crime and punishment. <clears throat> but I hope he can get it together and see for himself what he needs to do for himself so he don't have to ever go through it again. And I'm going to leave you everyone with that. Peace. Man,